Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here talking about my experience from BeautyCon Los Angeles. So as I'm sure you know, BeautyCon Los Angeles was held this past weekend, July 14th and 15th, at the Los Angeles Convention Center, and I was able to go. I was able to take Abraham with me, and I was able to go with some friends also, and it was just a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of talk about my experience there. Hopefully this video is not going to be too entirely long, but um, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and hopefully it gives you kind of some information for upcoming BeautyCon events and things like that. I have a whole BeautyCon playlist, so please go ahead and check that out I will have it linked down below and keep your eyes open for a giveaway coming very very soon if you have not already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started with the experience so originally back in May for Mother's Day I saw that BeautyCon was running a promotion for buy one get one free um, two-day general admission tickets so I went ahead and took advantage of that I bought one general admission two-day ticket and I got another one free so I was gonna take Abraham that was already decided he was gonna do some vlogging for me so I had that taken care of but I do like to participate in the BeautyCon ticket giveaways also that way I'm able to bring more people with me if they're interested like friends or things like that or in the past I've also given tickets away on my Instagram page so I was following the hashtags BeautyCon and BeautyCon LA and I found this company they're called 123 wish and they were hosting a giveaway for two hauler tickets retail value like $199 each um, so two of those plus obviously like the hauler goodie bag and things like that and so I decided let's go for it and so what I had to do was they were asking for a five or ten dollar donation and this this money from these donations it goes to a charity or a cause and the cause for this specific one was to help empower um, education in students and things like that and as an educator as a substitute teacher I can definitely get on board with charities that support education so I went ahead I made my donation and then I just waited and then probably a week and a half before the actual event I heard back from 123 wish Gabriella called me and she said that I had won and I communicated with her a little bit more and I was able to go to BeautyCon as a hauler, which was the original ticket I'd wanted. I just couldn't afford to spend the $200 per ticket to do that. But this is what the hauler wristband looks like. It was blue. The general admission that I had for the two day that you'll see on like my Instagram, that was a pink badge, or not badge, but pink um, wristband. And I was able to go ahead and sell those to my friends, Jackie and Kat at a discounted price so that they were able to come to the event also. So 123Wish, they have an app and they also have a website where you can go on and you can make an account. They do have a couple different levels of membership, one that you can pay for, I believe it's $1.99 a month, and then one that is free. But with those accounts, you can enter to win experiences. And so they have a bunch of different experiences. They have some to appear in like influencers YouTube videos and you know to come to BeautyCon and go to concerts things like that lots of different really cool really fun experiences and all they ask for for some of them is a donation and some are free to enter and they say that even if you don't win the experience then you will be gifted like a gift card equal to the value of the experience and then they also take 20% of the donations and things like that to donate to charities and causes so I think it's a really cool concept I go went ahead and got the app I'm just a free member right now I'm kind of looking into it a little bit more but I do think it's a really cool idea and I'm very grateful to 123 wish for the experience that I had to go to BeautyCon through them and they were very kind thank you so much Gabriella for contacting me initially thank you Sagan thank you Natalia thank you Patty thank you Jackie it was a wonderful wonderful experience 123 Wish was also kind enough to send me, or not send me, but to give me some goodies. And I'm gonna show you what those are right now. So first they gave me a little Sephora mirror, and then they gave me some of their swag, which is super cute. So I've got a couple of these shirts, and it's just black, and it's got this 123 on the front, and then on the back is the W for the Wish. So I've got a couple of those, and then they also gifted me their 
crew neck sweatshirt which looks like this so it says one two three up here and then wish down at the bottom and i think their stuff is super cute i love how simplistic it is but it's absolutely adorable and even abraham was like i'm probably gonna borrow that shirt from you so i would love to actually purchase some more of those because they're super soft they're super comfy and i just love how simple they are all right, so going ahead into the experience of BeautyCon. So as you know, I just mentioned, I went with 123 Wish and I was able to get my hauler wristband and then go and pick up my hauler bag. So we did that, we got into the event, Patty and Jackie and Sagan and Natalia, they were kind of hanging around for a little bit, filming, getting some content for, for their brand and things like that, which was super fun, it was super cool. And then, um, we were able to go and check out some brands and they were pretty good it was pretty neat it was a lot bigger than previous years um, there was a lot more brands and we went to Revlon I think was one of the first ones we went to and they had a really cool tunnel where you could walk through like this starry like night it was really neat and then you got to check out some new products and things like that and get a lipstick at the end of it and then one of my other favorite ones was the Comleaf brand booth where they had a blackjack table set up and you used the chips that you got to redeem them for um, like masks or a mask brush, things like that. You got to redeem them. So that was a lot of fun. We spent probably half an hour at that booth because it was just so much fun. Um, I do feel like the lines honestly moved a lot quicker than Generation Beauty this year. I don't know why because I had said in my um, tips and tricks video that they always move a lot slower. But um, I also kind of found out that a lot of the brands weren't really giving stuff away. And I have my own theories on this. I had seen a post <clears throat> from BeautyCon that said come shop your favorite brands and when I saw that I kind of got the impression they're not really giving things away this is kind of turning more into like Fame Expo or IMATS where you're really there to shop and get a discount which I understand brands you know it's a lot of money to give out a lot of product but also that's what BeautyCon has been in the past is not so much shopping so much as the experience the panels and the products if that makes sense so that was kind of disappointing and there was a point on Saturday where I I felt really bad because you know my friend Jackie she wasn't able to go on Sunday or I'm sorry she wasn't able to go on Saturday she was only able to go on Sunday and this was Saturday afternoon but I had convinced my friend Kat to go and Abraham and I had convinced his friend to go and bring his girlfriend and his other friend's wife came with her sister-in-law and so all these people that we had convinced to go and then I felt kind of like disappointed because it felt like it was more pressure to buy versus going to the booth and getting the product which is what I had promoted it as to them so I was like this isn't what this used to be so I was kind of really disappointed in that but then on Sunday when I went with Jackie it felt like there was a complete shift like brands were actually giving products out because Saturday brands were running out of stuff at like two o'clock and the event went till six and I'm just thinking if you knew that there was gonna be 22,000 people here plan for 22,000 people don't run out at two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon when the event is two days but I think a lot of the brands either had just set Saturday stock and just set Sunday stock of products or they were able to somehow get more because I do feel like Sunday we were able to receive a lot more products and that kind of made up for how sucky I felt Saturday was honestly like I feel bad saying that but I want to be true with you guys and honest with you guys that that's how I felt I felt kind of disappointed even though I was there as a guest for one to three wish for beauty con 
I was kind of disappointed in it because it was so different from the previous years that I've attended and I've attended essentially since the beginning since it was a free event at Siren Studios and I had to stand in line for six hours I've attended for years and I've just seen BeautyCon grow and change so much so as far as like next year and things like that I know it's gonna be even bigger than this year like this year was huge Kim Kardashian came you know it was a huge event but I know that BeautyCon keeps raising their prices I'm not sure for general admission if it would be worth it in the future. I hold out hope that it will be, but I know that they just keep raising their prices and that gets costly. Um, will I stop attending BeautyCon? Absolutely not. I love the event, I love the experience, I love being around like-minded individuals, sharing in this passion that we all have for beauty and makeup and creativity. But this year was definitely, honestly, more disappointing than previous years. And that's tough for me to say because I love BeautyCon so much. But that's just how I feel. I feel like this year, Generation of Beauty was much better than BeautyCon was. I would like to know your guys' thoughts and comments and ideas down below. Go ahead and share them with me. What was your experience at BeautyCon or at Generation Beauty? Or if you went to both, compare them for me because I'd love to see that. And I'm sure that people reading comments would love to see those different opinions also. As I did mention, the event was a lot better on Sunday than it was on Saturday, I personally feel. I did have a really good time. I enjoyed myself. It was a lot of fun. I was able to share something that I love with Abraham and also, you know, spend time with my friends at an event that I love and talked about and promoted so much to them. So that was a lot of fun and I wouldn't take that back at all. I had a wonderful time and I would definitely go again next year. I did want to touch on networking also. Um, I had taken... Haley, I had linked her in my tips and tricks video. I had taken her advice to create a badge to wear. So I had taken her advice to create a badge. This is what it looks like. It's got my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, my um, email. And I wore that around to try and help with networking and things like that. <clears throat> and then I also had my business cards to pass out. I do kind of feel like a lot of the brands were not interested in networking either. Um, I would kind of introduce myself and give them my business card and they would just kind of take it. I understand that they're busy, but at Generation Beauty I was able to actually talk to the different PR and social media managers, but this year at BeautyCon it felt like they just kind of took my card and that was kind of the end of it essentially. I only ended up with two business cards from brands at the end of the entire event. So that was kind of disappointing. Um, I was really looking forward to doing a lot more networking and talking with social media managers and PR managers and things like that. But it just felt like, like I mentioned before, I understand everything, everyone is busy and that it's an insane crazy event and it's very high stress, but it wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I guess is the best way I can put it. Am I disappointed in the people that run BeautyCon for how the event went? Absolutely not. I think that they did a great job. It was very controlled. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm just kind of, I think I set my expectations too high. And so when things didn't play out how I thought that they would based on previous years, that's when I became disappointed in the event. So again, these are just my personal thoughts and opinions. I know everyone's thoughts and opinions are different on this because I know in the past I've completely like fangirled over BeautyCon and I've seen a bunch of videos where everyone's like, this was the worst year ever. So I mean, it's just a personal opinion, but I would love to know your opinions down below. Please go ahead and leave them for me and let's have a conversation about this. I would love to, like I said, hear your thoughts. So that was essentially like my experience at BeautyCon. I would definitely go again it did not live up to the expect it did not live up to the expectations that I personally put on it but I know that my friends had a good time at least the ones that I've been able to talk to since the event um, so yes that was BeautyCon Los Angeles 2018 for me this year um, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you next time
Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This